Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Where last time, or the, actually the time before that, um, Chaos Demons evaded the, um, what do they call the specific, the Forge world that you're on? Um, and the time before this, uh, Captain, Captain Titus. The orcs are running scared. That is nice timing. Captain. They're a Lieutenant Mira. The Captain dealt with their war boss once and for all. We have a chance now. Bolster your defenses. The demon host will not be so easy to frighten off. Good luck, Titus. All our hopes are with you. Came up with a plan to go to the, uh, the Titan that is on this planet. Uh, use the power source that was created by the possessed Inquisitor Drogon and destroy the warp gate that is allowing the Chaos Demons uh, to enter this world, thus cutting off their supply. Um, we fought the war boss, who still looked at the, at the power source as a trinket. Uh, didn't really seem to have a plan for defeating Lord Nemereth. He, he was just all, like, power source shiny, and in a very, very awkward battle where I really should have ditched this hammer a long time ago. Like, having the hammer did not help the boss fight, but the boss fight, like, it was very awkward, like, in, in design. Like, the way the, the, the checkpoints were positioned, like, I would die in the fight, and then when I would re restart at the checkpoint, the checkpoint would be after where I died. So it was like I was moving forward in the fight, despite the fact that it didn't really seem like I had reached those checkpoints. I'll take the success, but it, it just felt like a very awkward fight. Like, uh, And then there was the end of the fight where he was just kind of like standing on top of a hill throwing bombs at you, and then waves of bad guys would come at you. Like, that wasn't particularly that interesting. And it was also hard to tell what progress was. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's immobilized. You will need to activate our Earth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood. All right. So now we've got a power axe again. I think I'm going to stick with the power axe uh, for the rest of the game, simply because, like... The hammer is nice. The hammer is an excellent melee weapon, but losing access to the Stalker Bolter and the Vengeance Launcher um, definitely hurt me for that uh, final fight, or uh, that fight against the War Boss. Not that I expect to get into a boss fight anytime soon, especially since I'll probably just be fighting Chaos Demons. Uh, for the rest of this uh, game. Alright, let's duck back here until our shields refill. Because I can. Hmm. Ah, excuse me, sir. Nope. All right, let, let, let's stop being cowardly. Go into battle. All right. Use for... Use Fury Mode, thank you. Get rid of you.
Make you explode. Up. Only in death does you. Your character has a very. I was thinking about the the early earlier today. Your character doesn't have much health. He can't really withstand much damage from your enemy, which says less about you being an ultramarine, I was thinking, and more about how much danger everybody else is. I said I was going to return. Titus. The orcs are running scared. What's happened? Oh my gosh, the checkpoint is all the way back here. All right. I don't expect to be in any firefights against bosses during this level. Their only other boss remaining is Lord Nemrath. So, sh should I? Or should I not? This is Princeps Enoch aboard Titan Invictus. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? Okay. My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's a mobile. Uh, no. You will need to uh, activate our Earth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood. All right, let's try this again. Um, I don't know if necessarily going on more of the offensive is necessarily better. Um. Well, at the very least, uh, I made uh, all of this progress slightly faster. Okay, I thought you were busy reloading, but I guess I was wrong. I... Tried to use fury mode, but once again, I forget that your character dies fairly easily. Okay, let's try this again. Unfortunately, the checkpoint is way back. It, it feels way back. It would be nicer if I started a little bit closer to the fight itself, as opposed to all the way back here. Um, I'm going to just try keeping the hammer because it seems like I'm leaning a little bit more towards attempting melee as opposed to uh, range fight. And also my range attack isn't particularly good against the armored guys. Though I haven't used the vengeance launcher against them yet. So in theory, that is something that I should be considering. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's immobilized. You will need to activate our Earth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood. Excuse me. Let us... There we go. There we go. Get rid of the big guy. Can you be stunned? Or does that automatically kill you? Nope, he's dead. Okay, who's shooting at me now? Oh, you are shooting at me now. There we 
There we go. Finally. It is a lot more work uh, stunning these uh, chaos demons. But if I'm going to go in, on more of melee attack, um, I'm going to need to use my fury mode a lot more often than I have before. Luckily, it fills up relatively quickly. But that doesn't mean I can't stop paying attention to it. But yeah, apparently the uh, Invictus, the name of the Titan, is... Um, oh, hello. Is locked up. All right, let's heal up and then charge you right there. You in specific. Excellent. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. So at least I can pick these things up while wandering around with the hammer. Hello. All right. Are you summoner? Are you a summoner? Is that your job? Well, you probably should have summoned an immunity to bullets. Though I'm sure I will see more of them as I carry on. What just hit me? Oh, that guy. Is that a, a one of those laser sniper rifles? There we go. Excellent. Anybody else wanting to snipe me from across the room with a laser? Oh, you. Space Marine 2, please. Please don't get in my way, or else you'll get shot. Space Marine 3, good job staying off to the side. Ah, stay still, you... There we go. In stratum. Yeah, I probably said the number of the stratum as I was passing it by, but I've already forgotten which stratum the Titan was in. In the Manufactorum. I'm somewhat disappointed that the gears on the side of this platform aren't spinning as it is in motion. Oh, hello. Uh, what was... I f again, I find the audio logs kind of odd because like part of it is like 
you're listening to these stories of the people here, and none of them really matter to the plot, but at the same time, it just goes to show the lack of humanity to the plot and to, to the Ultramarines. Like, they don't necessarily matter to the Ultramarines because they are not strategic uh, positions to evacuate. They are not weapons to protect. Experimentation with the warp energy is proceeding rapidly. I no longer need to travel into the warp to pull more energy into this dimension. But I am encountering unexpected activity. I was naive to think that my incursion into warp space had gone unnoticed. Someone, something has taken an interest. When I manipulate the energies, I feel a presence pushing against my psychic defenses. Testing me. Testing me. Testing me. You, you know he's, he's serious uh, when he uh, repeats himself. So there's a very specific quote. That I never quite remember the phrasing of. If you gaze into the abyss... The abyss gazes also into you. It's a famous quote from Nietzsche. Um, if that's how you pronounce his name, I actually never learned. It's, it's possibly a little bit overdone in regards to its use, but I feel like it's familiar enough that I think most people recognize it. The idea that you look into the darkness and the darkness peers into you, that sort of thing. You stare into that where the monsters lay and you become itself. You become yourself. A target of the monsters. And thus the story of Inquisitor All Drogon. Workers of class nine and above must report for their shifts despite the emergency. Though I suppose um, that kind of leads into the entire idea of hubris uh, as a issue in a lot of this science fiction stories where humanity is like, I'm going to make the thing that is super science science and is going to help everybody and save the world, but it's going to have to uh, have me do terrible things in order to get it. But my hubris, oh, my hubris is so strong. Oh, I'm already here. That was fast. I was not expecting to get here so quickly. More like boring Understood. clamps. Take that, mooring clamps. You will never recover from this... This this humiliation. Alright, let's go unclap them. Uh, and stop making terrible jokes, making fun of... Inanimate objects. Or animate, temporarily. And then they become inanimate again. And yes, I will hold on to this gun with its 54 bullets. Alright, no, hello. Alright, I was not also expecting, uh, Chaos Demons as well as... Oh, I'm out of grenades. I had not considered that. There we go. Alright, let's go duck behind something before I die again. Oh, Space Marine 3, sorry.
Yeah, let's get rid of you. Okay, please heal fast enough. Okay, excellent. Whew. Yeah, it takes you so long to recover from... I will feed you to the dark gods myself, Um... Nope, Space Marine 2, sorry. Get back here. Now, no, very rude. All right, let us use our fury mode after we heal up. Attack, attack. I feel like I'm I'm jousting a little bit. All right, let's duck away from him for a little bit so we can heal up our shield. Oh, is, does he have a shield too? Yeah, he does in fact have a halo. Oh, there we go. You know, his, him making Elevator threats, like death to ultramarines, as he is you being, like, finished off. Understood, Captain. Okay, so he, they're getting the doors to the Manufactorum open. I need to unclamp the moorings. If I was a audio log, I would be in this room. Oh, look, an audio log. Exactly where I thought it would be. Devices capabilities. Running the Titan Manufactorum with it, or rather with the power source, provided a convenient opportunity. The tech priests are practically giddy with its success, but this is a trivial accomplishment. I am impatient to begin testing the warp device's psychic attributes. I'm just waiting for the live cargo to arrive. Hmm. The question that I have is, does he realize he is dead and serving the enemy? Or has he been killed and is he, like, thinking he's still serving the Emperor? And he's still serving the Imperium? I mean, it's probably the former instead of the latter. You belong to the machine god. You are a cog in the glorious machine. You are nothing. You are just a Cog in the machine. Your life is worthless to the Emperor. Enjoy your day. I have Inquisitor Drogon's power source with me. We must use it to supercharge your weaponry. The power source? The White's involved in using it safely. Only the High Fabricator himself. Unless we act now, an entire Chaos fleet will hang over your Forge world. Understood. What were we saying about means and ends? Like, if the ends justify the means, like, you find yourself just kind of spiraling, well, if that end justified that mean and it didn't work, then we need an even more terrible mean to reach that uh, end once again. Oh, is this the... Am I already here unclamping the moorings? If that is so, then... 
this is still a lot faster than I was expecting to unleash this battle mech. Mooring clamps released. Invictus powering up now. Also, the brothers will have the gates open shortly. Maneuver Invictus close to the topmost gantries. I'm coming aboard. Okay, I was wondering if I was going to be able to pilot uh, the Titan. I would have been a little bit disappointed if the Titan was just a cutscene. Just a little. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised, because I'm sure the budget of this game only allowed for so much. But still a little disappointed nonetheless. Hello? What are you? Like, organic and machine? No, my aim isn't that good. There we go. Also, I've still been using this dumb hammer. Which is still awesome. Ooh, grenades. But I'm still limiting myself nonetheless. Ah. Enoch. Ooh. Is this a spiraling elevator? The orbital spire. Spire? The spire. It is a masterwork of the machine god. It is feeding energy into the warp gate above it. If we are to stop this invasion, the spire must fall. I understand. Although I suppose, again, I should be using Fury Mode with the regular gun in order to get that additional accuracy. Can I just jump down? Where must I bring the power source? Travel across the armature to the starboard side, Captain. I will open the maintenance apps for the Volcano Cannon. Protocol suspended. Of course, the Access Volcano the Cannon. The apps is below you, Captain. The apps. What is the apps? What is an apps? Where am I expected to go? Do I have to fight these guys? The time for battle is now. There goes one. Ah. You have an ally. Ah. Okay, this is a little bit trickier to use than I was expecting. I don't think I've hit him a single time. With this dumb plasma pistol. And unfortunately, I cannot take cover anywhere. And I'm out of fury. All right. Ah. 
Out. I will hit him once with this thing. Just, just once. Just. I wonder if the, like, part of my missing repeatedly... Oh my gosh. Is, the, like, the drop-off that the, uh... That the, uh, gun suffers from. Alright, let's switch back to the bolter. Get rid of this guy who is a little bit more dangerous than the other guy. Um, Alright, but at the very least, now I have unlocked Fury Mode again. Still, I would still like to know where I'm actually supposed to go, or if I just have to beat the bad guys, and that's it. That's probably the case. I just have to beat the bad guys. Alright. So let us switch to you. Oh, were you just purposely blocking myself off from carrying forward? I just had to beat up those bad guys first. Target the orbital spire. Oh, I, I'm. I guess I'm not playing as the. Uh, I'm, I'm not driving the Titan. Am I surprised the Titan with the biggest gun can only fire once and then all systems shut down? For shame, Invictus. For shame. But what a shot. Alright, so no Titan driving, so ba I'm back to being like a little disappointed, but not surprised. But Nemeroth and his demon host still roam free. And all the more desperate to recover the power source. We must get it to safety, my friend. Good news on that front. Lieutenant Mirror reports that the Liberation Fleet has entered the system. The Inquisition will surely have sent agents with the fleet, Captain. Perhaps we can return the device to them. The Inquisition has already failed to stop its exploitation by chaos. No one must use the device, the Andros, ever again. Contact Lieutenant Mirror and have her divert a Valkyrie here to pick us up. Yes, Captain. So what is Captain Titus's plan? Getting a bolt around through that damnable power source is out of the question. Too risky. We could open another warp gate, for all we know. Upon our return to McCrag, I will confide it to the chapter master and his librarians. And until then, my most trusted brother will bring it to our strike cruiser and seal it in the armory. All right. So now we've got weapons again. What was this one called? A storm bolter. What is a storm bolter? Oh. Oh, I stepped through Get a cutscene. Secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. Oh no, Space Marine Two. There are still thousands of traitors and heretics on this world. I intend to drastically thin their ranks. Lieutenant Mira's Valkyrie is on its way, Captain. Excellent. We make for the landing pad and watch for the Chaos Lord's forces. 
All right, let's go rendezvous with the lieutenant. And deal with Lord Nemrith. Once and for all. Though I, I would, I suppose I would have to say that it's it, it's always good budgeting when a video game doesn't try to do more than it should. Like if they try to insert like a Titan driving mini game, there's a high chance that one, it would just be bad. Yeah, this burns through ammo fast. Let's heal up. Hmm. I did not choose well in regards to slowly making my way across. That was me being stupid. I did not realize that the explosive that I fired planted directly in front of me as opposed to going in the air. But that, like, I suppose that's one of the things that comes with 3D shooters is like you have your targeting cursor that says, hey, bullet should be going that away. And unfortunately, my opponent has the high ground. I wonder, can I just hide somewhere? Is there a way for me to get to the high ground, to where they are? The answer seems to be no. Oh my gosh. And they're all throwing grenades. And I have no fury now. All right, get rid of one of you. Quite max pain. But still a good time in slow mo, just the same. All right. You also want to be shot to death. Oh, hello. Oh, please, sir, stop jumping around. I only have so many bullets to shoot at you. Do we have any bullets to pick up in this area? We do not. Let us carry on. 
That's okay. I've still got the Vengeance Launcher. So if push comes to shove... These traitors are determined. And this landing pad does not offer much cover. Oh no, it's Nemereth! He has defeated Space Marine 2! Who would have expected that by handing off the power source to somebody else, I would have presented a situation so that Lord Nemereth could steal the power source for himself without killing me. Also, this is pretty badass. My evolution. To my ascension to immortal demonhood. My armies will spill humanity's blood across the stars. You continue to resist my touch. Only a deep connection to the world can explain this. Brother! The chaos energy runs in you, brother. I couldn't reach him. Sidonus died as we all should. In a righteous battle. I'll not give you the grief, Leandro. Turn your thoughts to vengeance. Nemoth will pay in blood. All right, but at the very least, I'm also getting bullets. No, Space Marine Two, you're right. You're in my way. Oh, hello. Who is? Okay, let's roll. These guys are really good at uh, aiming their... Aiming their grenades. Let's try to get rid of these laser guys. Like, this is enough of a light show without them stirring things up. Space Marine 2, you're blocking my way again and again. How can I get vengeance for you if your body is going to be in the way every single time? Space Marine 3, you also need to not get in the way. All right, got rid of that one. Did I miss? Oh, 
All right, let's use our fury mode while we get rid of this guy. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> that was a lot of hits in a very short amount of time. Oh, nope, come on. Let's not die immediately now because I don't want to fall back on any checkpoints. Ooh. Can I just run back here for some reason? Reload first. To the slaughter. There we go. That was a little awkward. But it got the job done. Now there's just, I think, two guys left. Serpentine! There we go. The nice thing about the hammer is I didn't actually have to worry about button mashing during these finishing moves. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you'd never show up. Also, I like that the warp tower isn't entirely falling over. It's almost as if the debris is, like, just floating in space. Lieutenant? The traitor lord murdered him. Nimrod killed Sidonus for the power source. You said the Inquisitor's work was heretical, Leandros. You are right. What do you mean? Nimrod plans to use the power source to trigger his transformation into a demon prince. Abomination! How can we stand against such a creature? I will kill Nimrod when he's most vulnerable. During the transformation. Safeguard Sidonus until the Apothecary arrives. Then join the Imperial attack. Going alone is suicide. Or worse, 
We know the enemy takes great interest in your connection to chaos. Which hasn't really manifested in, in anything practical just thus far. Whatever lies behind your resistance. It just seems to be like a resistance. Why? For cutscene purposes. Resistance can get you close enough for a killing blow. I will destroy Nemroth with skill and steel, or die trying. If this resistance comes into play during battle, so be it. A means to an end. So be it. Again, nothing more dramatic than just repeating yourself. Uh, your, especially your final line before leaving the, the room. There is only the Emperor, and he is our shield and protector. I must reach the orbital spire. Farewell, Captain. All right. I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night, though. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.